Good day, YouTube. It is the 1st of May 2021. It's my birthday yesterday. Yeehaw. Um, we are looking at a pair of the biggest speakers I've ever seen. I'm sorry for the light. Let me get over here. I got a little daylight happening. But uh, these things are so big, I just about can't get far enough away to uh, get it all in the frame. So... Um, and there's a you know, table and chairs sitting there to give you a little reference for uh, size. This is a little practice amp I got sitting there because we're going to turn these on here in a minute and give them a listen. Um, so the story is uh, I always have equipment for sale, stuff I don't use anymore. And I had a response to my ad and the guy says, uh, I've got a pair of very large um, JBL, I think he called them the voice of the theater speakers. If you want them, you can have them. And I'm like, yeah, I'll somehow get them from you. Let me make a few calls. I got friends that like this stuff, collect this stuff, as I do. Um, and I reached out and uh, didn't really get any takers on them because of the size. The guy had sent me pictures. Um, anyway, um, long story short, I went and got them. I put a picture there on my community page and I asked uh, the, all my subscribers there if hey, you guys want to see a uh, demo on these speakers and yeah a couple guys want to see them so I kind of wanted to do it for prosperity because I don't intend to keep them uh, what I'd like to do is trade them for something I could use um, and these are just massive and heavy um, so we are going to turn these things on in a second so um, again, that's a that's a 15 inch um, JBL. Again, the guy called him something like the voice of the theater. Um, if we look over here, um, the last remaining decal, it says Sound Power JBL. Um, we only have one of the speakers uh, hooked up, and one of these tops. And this says BFI Bullfrog. And I have the other one sitting over here on the floor. Let's show you that it actually has a PV22A uh, compression driver in it. It's actually been sitting around a little bit. It's got a little rust on it. Got a crossover happening there. It's got a potentiometer there. They are dirty. They are dusty. They are smelly. They've been sitting around a little bit. The question is, the question is, do they work? Um, let's close the door because we don't want to alert the whole neighborhood that we have these. Let me see if we can get a little bit of light on it. All right, I put a little bit of light on the subject. Let's uh, turn on some non-copyrighted music. It's only a 50 watt amplifier I was uh, running, and it was running on about 25% volume. You could feel the power coming out of it. I'm surprised I put that plastic bag up against it to see 
if it was moving enough air to move the plastic bag, but you can feel the percussion hit you. What did surprise me a little bit was how clear and crisp it is. I'm sorry I can't play music that we all would love, but the, because of copyright, they won't allow that. So all I can play is this stuff. But uh, I did play some uh, modern music, and uh, I was not surprised at how much sound, because they're so huge. I expected that, but I didn't expect how crisp and clear it was. I would be happy to run these at any event they're that good. Turn that back down. But it, it doesn't take much to fill this room. Um, with sound, you can walk all the way around this room. This room is, uh, what is this room? It's about 18 by 30 something. Um, it's full of crap, but, um, not bad. So these things have some age. Let me finish the story. The guy that gave them to me, when we were unloading them, he had some, uh, TIAC reel to reel tape players and I go wow those are TIAC that's studio quality stuff and he goes yeah uh, um, I was working with Alice Cooper and he bought those for me I'm like dude you work for Alice Cooper and he goes yeah and uh, the guy had uh, a baby grand piano in his house again he just moved near me um, from the Seattle area um, and he had a, a baby grand I asked to I could see it, and he actually played it a little bit for me. He's a very talented keyboard player, and uh, evidently does instructions uh, in uh, music instructions on uh, um, horn type instruments. Um, not sure what all that is, but uh, anyway, he has a long history of a full time musician until recently he's retired, and he's taken just to uh, teaching now. Again, he gave these to me, and I'd be looking to trade these for something uh, that I can use. Um, I've done some trades before on some top hats, traded this pair very similar to these um, for a pair of 18 inch uh, subwoofers. Um, Electro voice, I believe. Um, so I'd be looking to trade this setup for something again that I could use. These are just way too big for me. Um, so if anybody's interested, uh, do a comment down below and I'll uh, get back to you and we'll see if we can work something out. Obviously, I'm in Oregon, so that makes a difference. The game, uh, we test run them. They work perfectly. They sound better than I expected. They're very room-filling volume uh, sound, as you would expect from something of this size. Um, they're... Large and in charge, I guess we'll say. Gang, appreciate you watching. Cut thumbs up uh, on your way out the door. Comments below. And uh, catch you guys on the next one. Later.